It's 8 o'clock in the morning at my uh, hotel here in uh, in Baltimore. It's just after 8. we got to go to the airport now and catch a flight to Newark, New Jersey, and then another one to uh, to Tampa. There's my bags all set, ready to go. we got a game tonight, so it's a little more important to uh, to be at the airport on time and make all the flights. It's going to be a long day today. So let's get going. a lot closer than the airport in Washington that I had to use to get here. Um, Security is the worst thing at these airports. Uh, it takes up most of your time. I just got to my gate and the flight's already delayed by 20 minutes. This is going to be a tight connection because I've got about now 25 minutes to make my flight in Newark. It's going to be a <laughs> it's going to be a very long day. I missed my uh, original flight to Tampa, now I'm on a plane that's going an hour later, so it means I'm going to be late getting to the ballpark today, most likely, but at least I'm on a plane. I arrived at Tampa International Airport after that long flight. Um, here's my rental car. I was able to pick it up with Gold Car Service, so it's now 3.40, the flight was a little earlier, so I'll be able to hopefully make it to the ballpark by 4.30. Right now we've got to drive across the bridge from Tampa to get to St. Petersburg, where the baseball stadium actually is. We're going to check into the team hotel first, though. We're uh, heading across the causeway from Tampa to St. Petersburg. Weather's a little bit nicer here in uh, Florida, i got to say, a whole lot warmer than it was in Baltimore. Um, it's not going to make much of a difference since they play in an indoor stadium here, but it makes a big difference uh, to me as I'm driving uh, across the causeway. This is always my favorite part of this trip. It just kind of, uh, I find the, the view of the um, of Tampa Bay very, uh, very relaxing. Uh, I've done this trip about 35 times in the past, and uh, it never gets old. We have arrived in lovely uh, downtown St. Petersburg. The hotel's about five minutes away. It's five minutes after four right now. Um, if you look out the window there, you'll see Tropicana Field. It's been about an eight-hour journey so far, and the workday is just getting started. We have a whole game to cover um, after this. The Mariners Clubhouse opened about uh, 20 minutes ago, so I'm already running behind schedule. I'm sure the other reporters are all there scooping me as we speak. So this is going to be a very fast check-in. We're going to throw the bags down on the hotel bed, and we're going to sprint off to the ballpark. All right, we're almost at the hotel, the Renaissance Vinoy. I happen to like this hotel more than any other on the uh, baseball tour. I've stayed here, as I mentioned, about 35 times in the past, but it, it never gets old. It's a 90-year-old hotel, and uh, they've done some great job uh, renovating it. John F. Kennedy once stayed here. Um, so did his wife. A whole bunch of other Hollywood people have stayed here before. It used to be called the Grand Dame of St. Petersburg. There it is. So we're going to park and go check in right now. The pool at this hotel is really nice. Uh, just off to the side of it, there's actually a wedding chapel. That's where David Wells, the former Major League pitcher, he, he actually got married there while he was a member of the Toronto Blue Jays back in, uh, back in 2001. Room's okay. Hopefully we have a view. This place is good for its view. Yeah, not bad. We can see the marina from here. So at least we'll have a nice uh, <laughs> nice little view for the next three days. Not much time though. I'm uh, really running a little bit late now. It's actually 4.30. I gotta get to the ballpark. Right, we've arrived at Tropicana Field. You can see it here from the outside. Doesn't look like much from the outside or from the inside, but we're here and it's gonna be a little cooler in there than it is outside right now. Pretty nice weather, I gotta say. Made it here after uh, a long journey. We're inside Tropicana Field at the press box. We're going to set up now and go cover the ball game.